Hello everyone, my name is Kalawole Olarewaju and welcome to this tutorial. In a few minutes, I'm going to go over a few tips that should help any animator get a character fully rigged and ready to animate in no time at all. This is especially for those artists eager to animate but find rigging a bit tedious. While this is by no means a final solution to rigging, it can serve as a starting point that is good enough to take the focus off the technical stuff and uh, helping to channel energy to be more productive and creative. So here we are in 3D Studio Max. Uh, this is the viewport. Uh, this is a 3D character that was graciously donated by Ariel Musso. I'll be using it for this tutorial because I believe it's a clean mesh and it's functional for what we intend to do here. We will um, go about rigging this character and I want to attempt to rig it within the shortest period of time. What I'm about to show you is uh, basically a time saver for those who would like to skip the boring parts and move straight onto animation because uh, not all of us are good riggers. I've had my, share, my fair share of difficulties rigging while I was learning and I know how painful it could be and uh, I know a lot of people are gifted in animation but if they can't cross the hurdle of rigging they can't really uh, you know it kind of frustrates them along the way so let's just try and simplify that so I have my mesh here for now you can see that it's um, not just the body it has if I check uh, the elements, it's made up of the body, the eyes, the vest, the belts, the shoes, these uh, these straps for, I think uh, Eric put some, some screws there, I don't know, so, and the belt. So the reason why I left these attachments, because I want to show you that well, on a normal day, if you had to rig this character and you rig the body, you would have to skin, you know, skin wrap, at least in 3D Max, they call it skin wrap, most of these parts to the mesh, which would already be skinned. And the reason why you do that is so that the these parts kind of move in cohesion with the body, you know, rather than modeling it with the body just separate parts that you can take off so if i needed to you know take the vest off and put something else on you get the idea so if i had this character i would on a normal day export it sorry so i'll export selected because i don't want to export any other thing in the scene we already have him here buff guy so let's just replace that blah, blah, blah. that's longer than normal okay Okay, so we have a character exported, so we'll go straight to what I believe is something I was sent from the gods, because when I started learning rigging, this didn't exist at all, and I realized that uh, this could really help a lot of people along the way who were starting out, so I just decided to share this information. So this is Mixamo. I think they were just recently bought over by Mix uh, Adobe. They're basically a platform where you could. Um, it's basically a platform for rigging, animating your characters online. Uh, it's they simplified the process extensively. So this particular platform called Mixamo, I believe, is. Uh, a very useful tool for animators especially those who would like to save time and focus on more important things um, they created an online rigger which I believe 
In fact, the very first time I tried it, my jaw literally dropped. I, I need to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here, if you go to products and you go straight to the auto rigger, um, it's quite a simple process. I'm going to speed through to show you how fast it is. And you click rig your character. Here you have the upload button. You click that. Select character file. I'll just uh, click that and select our guy. I'll give it a few seconds to load. Usually it doesn't take so long, especially since they don't really allow high resolution characters. So as long as your characters are mid poly or low poly, um, it should work without problems. So here we have our character loaded. It loaded in about um, less than 10 seconds. It, um, it's usually best to position it in a T-pose as it's good to follow the rules. So um, some of the fingers are not spread, but I guess it should work anyway. Let's click next. So um, this part is really crucial because it kind of determines how good the rigging is going to be eventually when it's finished. So let's uh, start with the chin. I'm going to position this right at the bottom here. Then the wrists. The orientation of the wrists are not really correct, but um, for you know, just pardon me. I'm sure it should work anyway. Then the elbows. Um, then we have the knees and the groin. I mean, it's still not too long. Alright, so blah 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 blah. Place markers on the model, please now. So basically straightforward. Um here we have um the kind of rig you would like if you want uh, for instance if you don't want it to be that advanced, maybe you want just three chains of fingers or two chains of fingers that's been in you know when you bend your fingers, how many uh should I say segments there are. Or if you don't want any fingers at all, then you just have a stump of a hand. Basically, the hand is just flying free. You can have that as well. So click next. Okay, so here we have our character ready you may notice a few problems with the head um, unfortunately I can't tell you exactly what's wrong but this is uh, an easy fix if you take this to your application all you need to do is check the weights of the head make sure it's you know 100% weighted to the head bone when it gets back into your application and I guess you should be okay everything else seems okay if you look at the fingers everything is moving fine this is an almost perfect rig it's basically you know 90 something percent ready so I'm gonna export this and uh, get it back to my application so here we are back in 3D Studio Max. We have our character ready to go, or almost ready. It's about 90 something percent complete at this moment. It uh, has a skin modifier. You know, I didn't put that there. It's automatic and it has a couple of bones. But if we try to move the bones around, you notice that nothing happens. Um, it needs one final step to uh, be fine cooked basically and ready to serve so there's a script that Mixamo uh, created if you go to back to the Mixamo website and you check the rig control scripts you see they have a Maya control rig auto biped and auto cat rig the auto cat rig is the one I'll be using because it's a cat character I need uh, although the biped rig of the biped control script works the same way now for the Maya I'm sure it works the same way I think there's a tutorial here 
although I will be showing just the cat uh, rig basically nothing against my users so if we go back and we run script and locate where we downloaded the script you see an AutoCAD let's click that open and believe me this is um, basically the fastest rigging I've ever experienced although it's not a fully professional rig it can get you up and running for some quick animations in no time so if I click on create cuts we're done so we have the rig fully posable So, if you want to start animating, you could. It's uh, a simple or simplified way of getting your characters rigged in no time. So, you can move on to more important things. Um, now, for those who just uh, want to pick up a rig from the internet and start using, maybe you don't have a character. I could recommend a few sites where you could visit uh, for 3D Max users. Go to this site. It's uh, I think it's called yeah, rigsarena.blogspot.com. It uh, has free 3D Max rigs. Most of them are either biped or cat rigs. Um, there are some really cool characters here that you can play with. So, so if you look, if I click on this one, you have Assassin's Creed. The 3d max character i think it was ripped from a game but it's usable it's free you know as long as you're not using it for anything commercial you could just play around with it and see you know you know just get straight to animating and then you have um the animation buffet.blogspot.com which is um, some quality rigs for maya now in my opinion uh maya is uh, better for animation so obviously you're gonna see the community uh, that's the community the community donating some pretty quality rigs that you can use you know production standard rigs even if it's a flower sack look at that that's look at that so basically you have a lot to play with yeah i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions feel free to contact me and i'll do my best to assist there will be more tutorials coming your way and I hope it will be of use to someone. Till next time, peace.